Ronnie Chan, very important businessman from Hong Kong. Thank you for being on WPC TV. You've just been on a panel of the, the, the Belt and Road Initiative of China. Now, it seems to me that that's a rather good idea, yet it has its critics now. Mahathir Mohamed, for example, in Malaysia, has talked about debt colonialization. What's your opinion? Well, actually, I hosted a program for two journalists from Wall Street Journal who uncover the IMBD uh, event. The scandal in, in Malaysia, yeah. In Malaysia, as far as I know, the cancelling of the project has nothing to do with China. It has a lot to do with Malaysia. It was a scandal that was there. Uh, it has to be done, uh, dealt with. God knows what ramification it has domestically. And by the way, uh, Malaysia cancelled a project uh, a rail link to Singapore as well. Yes. I assume for the same reason. So uh, to read something that is not there into a situation may be dangerous. Mm. And in general, the one, the one Belt, One Road, the Belt and Road Initiative, you would describe as what? Well, first of all, historically, the Belt and Road Initiative is nothing more than the old Silk Road. Yes. Number one. Number two, Today, as I travel the world, and I do se travel 70% of the time, including going to Central, America, Central uh, uh, Asia from time to time, the least developed part of the world is perhaps west of China yeah. and east of East Europe. Yeah. That is the Belt and Road countries, yeah. in particular the Belt, the terrestrial Belt countries. And so for somebody to come along to help them with infrastructure development, uh, is a very, very good thing. It re without infrastructure, as we all know, no economic development can be thriving. Somebody need to bring the expertise, the capital, and so forth. Well, China is not saying that we are doing it by ourselves. There's no way China, it's not big enough to do all those projects. So a lot of countries have to be involved, such as AIIB, yes. the Asia Infrastructure in in Investment Bank. Management of AIIB, to my knowledge, some of the top management are Indians and Americans, yeah. as well as many others. It's not just the Chinese. And hence, I think, uh, I, I just feel sad that America uh, and Japan should have chosen to stay out of it. I think it's really politically instigated rather than economically uh, yeah. thought through. And in, to my knowledge, even Trump said that it was a mistake. Mistake by, Obama, by the Obama, Obama administration. Obama administration. Yeah. So why not join, why not play ball together, why not help that part of the world develop and then eventually everybody will benefit because once they economically, economically develop, they would be able to buy from China, from America, from Europe, from India, from wherever, yeah. right? So it, I think it's a, it's a very, very sensible thing. I mean, without infrastructure, you can't really have... Correct. Ronnie Chan, thank you very much indeed. Thank you for being on WPC sure. TV. Thank you. Thank you.